Good evening, everyone. This is Rocco coming at you for my second uh, 69.1 drive. I'm actually going out this afternoon for a haircut, um, but um, bright sun. Um, yeah, I appreciate everyone watching that first video and comments and everything. I'm hoping that Phantom Breaking will be improved since it's daylight. Though I, want, I do wonder if it could be related to my dirty windshield. Um, it's really not that dirty, but may, may, maybe it is. But um, yeah, so this is, I guess, a couple days since it's gone out. But um, I'm curious how everyone... There's a spider in my car. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to... I have to <laughs> open the window and flick it out. Okay, anyways. Um, looks like the car is fogging up. So it braked a little bit for that van going around there. I don't know if there, anyone else has really reported van and brakes like I've had. Let's see how it does getting onto the ramp here. And it didn't read the speed limit sign. I wonder if it's because of the sun did much more naturally going into that turn. It slowed down and didn't go too fast. It is going too far right again, unfortunately. This is better, this is good right here. And now it speeds up onto the highway. I actually forgot to turn on automatic lane changes. But, um, Interesting. It seemed to have a little bit of confusion right there. And it's probably because it's flipping over between the different versions. So, um, I should mention, uh, I didn't mention this in the first video. I actually have a uh, trailer hitch on. So we're going to see some videos later. I've tested this one time so far. I just haven't had the time to really put the you know, test together. But I do now have a trailer. And I have tested it one time, and a full self-driving spoiler does work with the trailer. So I'm going to make a video, as I haven't actually seen this yet. So we're going to go make some videos of it working with a trailer, and see how that, how that functions. Of course, every version might be a little bit different. Um, now, Shock's video said it doesn't actually use the ultrasonics anymore, which I'm, I'm not sure why. If you look here... Yeah, see, you can see, see, it, it shows the, the bars of how close you are, which has to be the ultrasonics, I'm pretty sure. But um, I'm not really certain, uh, maybe they plan to eventually eliminate the ultrasonics, or maybe it's just because it's navigating on autopilot, it still uses it. But I'm pretty sure I still see it in full self-driving, the ultrasonics are still being used. So it's interesting if they're just planning to scrap it completely or if that's got to be used still going forward oh i just noticed we got this update finally i like this a lot actually this this bigger bar i hope that helped you guys see that i know uh, a few of you have commented on my low video quality and i apologize for that it makes it much simpler to edit the video if it's 1080p and I've had some issues in the past where my camera would the, I use my phone the iPhone 12 Pro to um, or 12 Pro, Pro Max to record and I've had some issues where 4k would just stop recording and of course <laughs> no video is worse than uh, subpar quality um, so I hate to say that's, that's really why I use 1080p the most. Uh, lower file sizes and more reliable recording. I've never had it had an issue with 1080p. But, um, yeah. I'm glad that makes it easier to see. Uh, I, I like that for my own personal use, too. That it just makes it easier to see how much regen and brakes I'm using. So right here, I wanted to get back over. This is something I'm... It's slowing down, too. It doesn't need to see this is so early to get over on this spot. We're like pretty that's pretty like two miles, I think, away from where it needs to get over. 
th this is exactly the reason why I've turned off automatic lane changes because navigating autopilot it's logic is just it's flawed because it it's not used to the mountains where you go up and down the mountain and these trucks slow down to like 35 45 mile an hour uh, and you're going 70 up the hill so it takes it takes a while to um, um, that's not what I'm trying to say it, to get around the truck, um, you want to stay in the left lane. And to get behind the truck, you're going to slow yourself down a lot. So here's a good appropriate spot to get over. And I'm going to follow what it said and get over. While these trucks might be going a little bit slower than what I'm going, I am close enough now to the exit that it's appropriate. I'm curious how it gets off the highway now. see if this is any difference. So it seems to break about the same. Still doesn't turn on the blinker here. And it crashed. So the whole system crashed. Oh, please don't tell me it's gonna like... Is it gonna restart? Okay, good, it re-enabled. It had to reboot itself. It's not trying to go on this red light, is it? Okay, well, it pulled up to the line. That's actually new behavior. That's good behavior. It pulled up to the line after I re-enabled it. Okay, good response to the light. About as good as it's ever done this turn, so that's great. And this is also good. If previously it would speed up a lot, so it seems like it's able to detect this light a little bit sooner. So a random side question, I've never noticed this, so there's a few people, if you've watched any of Roger's videos, um, and I think it is it Dan, I think that's your name, um, the videos, and they've shown flashing red lights. Um, the red light is solid in person and on the phone camera. Um, I actually know in the phone camera it was blinking, sorry. But um, on the car, it was also blinking. So then sometimes it'll run a red light thing because it's a, a four-way stop, you know, flashing red. Um, which I would have to think has to do with the uh, f refresh rate of the cameras. It might be like an, one of those LED um, LED uh, lights, if you will, we'll go with that. And it has a frequency where if you match the shutter speed of the camera, it'll flicker. And that might be what's happening. Okay, this is appropriate behavior. and at think a little bit earlier than it did in the previous update. That's actually a, a good thing. And you should be slowing down. What? What? That's 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 new behavior and not good. Um, it obviously didn't mess up. I canceled the lane change. It, it, it got annoyed and went around because this car slowed down or something. But it, it should have slowed down more for the car in front of me. That, yeah, that's I've never had to do that before. Um, that could be a good thing in some scenarios, but I, this one I did not like it. Absolutely. Um, it was not a positive thing in this instance. Let's see, are we going to have a creep limit? Yeah, oh. Wow, what the heck? <laughs> it like almost floored it and then slowed down. It was like, then it was smooth into the turn. That's... That was, uh, okay, that's new with this update. Um, I haven't heard reports of that before, but interesting. This drive really is pretty basic. We almost had a disengagement with that, um, where we had to slow down for that car, um, but it was able to correct itself. But really the only spot on this entire route uh, I expect a disengagement. It's going to be right here at this turn. 
So it does seem to be, it seems to be able to recognize cars stocked up ahead a little bit sooner, just, just a tiny bit sooner. It's not where it needs to be, but it's going in the right direction. It's slowing down just ever so slightly sooner than it was previously for this type, that type of situation, which is good. Now, the other thing it needs to do, this is what me, Mike, and several other people really hammered. It needs to read the speed limit sign ahead. Um, it needs to know it's 35 up here and not, you know, or if it's going 45, it needs to rapidly slow down to the speed limit because there, this is a speed trap right here. Um, I know my friends have been pulled over here and ticketed because they were, forgot to slow down. They didn't see the speed limit. They didn't slow down. Uh, so that's something the car has to do. And this is, there's Mike up in, uh, where he is, there's cops all over the place looking for speed traps. And like, he was like, oh, they're, they're all over the place. And when I actually went to visit, I'm like, oh, you're probably over exaggerating. I'm like, nope. <laughs> they were everywhere <laughs> up there. I'm like, we saw just cruising around town for a simple drive. And that drive is on the on my YouTube if you search it. Um, but, I mean, we probably saw seven or something somewhere over five close to ten cops in just an afternoon driving around town they were all different they weren't the same one um or at least different locations and there's something with this town it's just <laughs> it's, it's funny um but yeah that, that's something the car just doesn't slow or adjust the speed appropriately enough so right here it's braking i'm pressing the accelerator it was braking for that car uh, too soon. And, and now she needs to get over. Uh, needs to get in the left lane after this car passes me. Oh, interesting. So it's going to turn it on? Great. That did, that did really good. She could have kept the blinker on. Um, but that did actually really good handling that car passing, canceling the blinker, and putting it back on. Very appropriate. And so right here, it needs to get over in this lane. Now turn left onto the Very appropriate. Is it going to stop in the right spot? So we're not going where that car was. We're going right here. And there's an oncoming car right here. And it has a good gap. Go. You can go. Okay. So a little bit hesitant. But it made it. That's better than previous versions. So as long as it can make it to like right here. We'll get around this, around this curve of the road. <laughs> Nothing too difficult, but it has disengaged here before. This road is really narrow right here. And it was going to go off the road in a spot, and so I had to disengage in the previous video. Turn right onto Garden Lane. Then your destination will be on so the there we go. That was zero disengagements. Um, that was um, definitely from the last time I did this route, a definite improvement. Now turn right um, onto perfect? Lane. No. What? I'm not sure why it's asking you to go right. Okay, it still wanted to go right, even though that's not where I wanted. Oh, um, right, right here is where I want to go. But um, yeah, everyone, um, I'm gonna maybe I'll put some bonus footage in the going back. We'll decide once I get get there. But if not, I appreciate everyone watching. I will see you on the next video. Thanks for one. Bye. Hey everyone. I this is gonna be some bonus footage I'm gonna put after that last clip. Nor my squeaks, I'm gonna eventually get that fixed. Um, but just a little bonus footage, I'm gonna cut, just gonna cut it, and we're just gonna do the interesting bits, like this turn up here, is gonna be a turn at the next light, and I'm just gonna cut off. Once we merge onto the highway, that's when I'll cut the video. Um, just to give some bonus footage, and I'll let you know in the comments if there's a, actually, that handled that well, actually, with that car right there. That, this is actually very good. Um, it actually centered itself in the lane a little bit to the left, as I would. So I'm glad, glad it's doing that. Because that lane was really narrow next to the curb, and I like to give a little bit extra room, and it makes me feel comfortable. Um, so you'll know by the title if this is already a double back-to-back -back zero disengagement drive. Okay, well... Oh, it stopped because of this car. Um little bit of hesitancy there for sure but hey it actually was 
I have to say, while it was hesitant, that was much smoother than it was in the previous version for that type of scenario. It would like, the previous version would like jam on the brake, you would go back and forth in your chair. <laughs> um, and it wasn't good. Um, it, it was uh, annoying. But I'm glad, um, I don't really have all that many turns I make like that where it has to look for oncoming traffic. I like Chuck's turn for sure. So it's really interesting to, um, I'll, I will be interested, should I say, to get to try out one of those turns one day. Um, I think, mm, I'm not sure. We, didn't, we really don't have many roads like that around here. There are a few, I just, I don't think they're in my test realm, unless I'm just forgetting. I haven't made videos in a while, so I could Oh, I just realized that, um, I used the main camera instead of the wide angle. So, yeah, this is strictly going to be bonus footage and not going to be fancy and cropped in on the screen and everything else. So, apologize for that, everyone. I'm also testing out 4K. So, we'll, we'll kind of see the quality difference in 1080 versus 4K. I'm going to export this video in 4K. And uh, the first half will be 1080p and the second half will be uh, 4K. Or the bonus footage will be 4K. So I'm just gonna see how uh, how it looks. Just saying. so this is a weird predicament. I have a car on to my left right here. I guess you can see that it needs to get over. This car is in my blind spot, and so that's why it's blue. It needs to get over up here. Is it gonna do it? No. This car is pulling ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna slow it down. See, they, this is where it needs to adjust, it needs to just, it started slowing down, it started doing a good job, but then I had to override it to tell it to slow down. It needs to get over another lane. Is it not going to get over? Yeah, so this is, um, that's map data. See, if you look here, see how that jog right here? The car is relying too much on map data. See, as a human, you could see the turn lane show up, and it's like, well, we're making a turn right here. Most likely, one of these turn lanes is gonna, are going to be what we use for this. So as a human, even though I see this jog here, I'm like, well, I'm not going to get over in the far right lane. That doesn't make any sense. Um, we know we have to take a left turn, so we need to use a turn lane to make it. That's As a human, we know that. So we override this bad map data. And we make the turn. We can end the turn lane regardless of the map data showing weird jogs like that. The car will do that eventually. That's why it's not good. Tesla could fix this. They could get detailed mapping and they could handicap it. I, I'm on record and I will keep on saying this. Um, I'm very confident they will ha they handicap themselves by using a good map data. It, it makes it perceive that they're getting way faster progress than they really are if they were to use map data. It's cough, Waymo, <laughs> Cruise. That's why they look like they have really good progress, but it's because they have really detailed map data. And so when that map data changes, the car doesn't know what to do. The Tesla neural nets are learning what to do in this case when this map data is wrong. It knows, hey, in the future, I need to get in this left lane earlier. And it really learns that from disengagements. I didn't disengage here. It did it. I could turn on the blinker here for some reason, but hey. Um, well, actually, actually, I mean, I guess that's valid. Um, you aren't making a left turn. Um, I should have had the blinker on already. But yeah, so I, I'm very much adamant on the map data um, that the car will read this map the same way we do. As a human, this map doesn't tell me where the light... Well, actually, if I zoom in really far, it tells me where the lights are. Uh, and it, on the highway, it tells me the lanes. But I'm like, it doesn't tell me detail. I'm like, well, what's... Th there's two lanes on this road. This road is 45 mile an hour. Like, I mean, I see that here, but it's, there's so many inaccurate speed limits in this area that I don't trust this. I, I, I know what the speed limits are. So it just needs to be able to read the signs and override what the map data says. Same thing for us. Anything it looks on this map to navigate, it needs to be able to override what the map says and know what to do, and it did not. 
thanks for using your blinker truck. Um, I saw it slowing down, but normally the, the car in this version, this version is not slowing down appropriately for cars like that. Like this, it's going, it's, it's approaching this car far too fast. Um, it used to slow down actually very naturally, I think. Um, could be misremembering, but the 10 out 12 out 2 would slow down much more naturally towards that car. But this gives such a closer tolerance um, to slowing down, which is really. I, I'm not a fan. I think it's too aggressive. And I, I, some people drive that way. And maybe that's why it's starting to learn and trying to do that. Some people do drive that way. They. They approach a car really fast and they jam on the brakes at the last second, which is, I mean, I disagree with as the way to drive. This this is actually wrong here. It's going to change lanes in the middle of the intersection, isn't it? Well, I think you're supposed to, I, I don't think it's a law, but I think by rule, no, you're supposed to wait until you're out of the intersection to change lanes. Yeah. But it's not, it wasn't terrible. I think this was smoother going through this turn. We'll see how we get on the highway, and then this is really gonna be it. It's just bonus footage, uh, just to see how it does. And, um, we'll see. I see no cars on the highway, and it's not, unfortunately, it's not going to um, mer uh, turn on the blinker and merge for me, so I have to do that. So right here is where I would turn the blinker on to simulate get onto the highway and fantastic but yeah um yeah screw it we'll just record the rest of it and i'll put it in time lapse does it right most of the time now, Even regardless of the speed limits being wrong and yeah it's wow no 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 wow i'm gonna record that it hasn't done that in several versions that's where's my creep wall wow okay I, that's to process that okay so obviously the trying to turn right at a left turn worse and it, it breaks here again wow it that's what it did yesterday huh so obviously that the the turn going in going through the turn was better for sure but getting to the turn that was worse interesting is there a disengagement i'm not going to count the the system crash I don't, I don't count system crashes for a disengagement but um yeah that was zero disengagements everyone um that was in every well not every way that was for sure better on uh, the best i believe the best has ever done that back and forth yeah that's that's great i'm excited to try asheville um we will be doing that saturday morning um hope to see you watch those videos thanks for watching everyone bye